We, we really need to sort of push together and fight on this one because we can't have this happen. Hi, it's me again. And a little while ago, I made a video about TV licenses in other countries. If you didn't see it, I'll put the links below for you so you can watch that. But one of the things that we all found out in there, and I found out on my research on that, is that when there's a high evasion rate, it can go one of two ways. Either the TV license fee gets cancelled or it gets moved to become some kind of tax, very often put on your phone bill or your electric bill, something like that. And then I stumbled across this article today and I'm not very happy about it. Let's take a look at it together. So this is from the Irish News, which obviously isn't fully relevant to, to me in Essex, but anything that mentions the word TV license, I have a read off. But it's just the way this was worded and the thing he said in there just rung some alarm bells with me. So let, let's take a look at it. Public service TV for children should be funded through a cultural precept on mobile phones, Sir Phil Redmond has suggested. Sir Phil compared children's programming to clean water, policing and fire and rescue services, saying, is not a safe, well-curated and trusted space for children's media content equally important. He said the licence fee fills and is anachronistic, but suggested an alternative method of funding in a report compiled by the Children's Media Foundation. So this is the bit that annoyed me. Why not then consider adding something to every phone and broadband contract, he wrote. Just like the additional costs added to our community charges to fund non-council public services like the police and fire and rescue, why not add a cultural precept to every phone bill? The CMF report will be presented to Ofcom to advance the unique position of the children's audience in the debate on the future of public service media, the organisation said. Sir Phil said there are around 79 million mobile phone contracts in the country. He wrote, a cultural precept of £60 a year on each would provide the same level of funding as the current BBC licence fee without all the issues around criminality, over 75s, hotels and hospital pricing or costs of collection. So why not a quid or two to fund children's content? Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, let's read on and then we'll talk about it. And amid the uncertainty surrounding the future of Channel 4, Sir Phil floated the idea of it merging into a new public service content provider with its £1 billion revenue, or a substantial part of it, going towards children's media content. So I'm not going to bother reading the rest of that because he's only interested in children's TV, really this bloke. Good for him. I like Dora the Explorer. And what's the one with the dogs? Paw Patrol. I love a bit of that. But anyway, this is the first time I've seen this really written in an article for us where they start talking about the TV license fee being abolished, but it just becoming a payment on your phone bill or something else. I think in France it goes on your council tax and in many other countries it goes on your phone bill. Already some countries they put it on the electric bill. And it's a lot harder to avoid it because you need a mobile phone, don't you? It's hard now. I can't do any banking without my mobile phone. So I can't scrap it off. I don't really know what you could do about that. We, we really need to sort of push together and fight on this one because we can't have this happen. And this is going to Ofcom, his report, and we can't have them getting a the taste for it and thinking, well, we can abolish the licence fee. We'll just chuck 50, 60 quid a year on everyone's phone bill. And then you're laughing, we've covered a BBC that way. I won't, oh, there's no way I could stand for that. We've got to fight this. So I, I'm going to keep an eye on this and I'm going to talk about this a bit more because I don't want this to come around. This is the worst case scenario for the TV licence fee if this happens. I really hope it doesn't. And uh, we, uh, it might not, I can't see it happening. Mostly because public opinion is so shifted against the BBC and the TV licence fee at the moment. And more people are coming into the fight every day. So yes, they, they're going to they're gonna throw us some curveballs. But as long as we stay focused, I do think we will win this fight in the Charter Review of 2027, as long as we keep pushing. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button. Not for him, for my benefit. And uh, the subscribe button to keep up to date on my latest videos where I'll keep an eye on this and I'll let you know what else is going on in the world of the BBC, TV and telelicensing. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.